Yo right, guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we've got some packs that I've saved up from yesterday. Um, from rewards and like marking matchups and other stuff like that. And as you can see on the screen now, I've got an ultimate pack for the tier 4 reward for logging into FIFA for 146 plus days. Um, so obviously that's another pack that I am able to open. Um, but we'll get into the packs in a second. I just want to see like what objectives may have come out. Obviously we've got a new season as well. Um, so we've got a foot birthday plus, um, foot birthday SBC plus, 75 plus. So whatever that is, we'll see. I think it might be a, each day you get a different objective or something like that. Got foot birthday huntler, which is going to be played in managerial masterpiece. Only seven wins in 13 separate games, so probably relatively easy to get hold of that card. Looks decent from the stats obviously only going off his base but there's not much more you can go off at the moment until uh, the stats are released on footbin stuff like that uh, but that's a player we can play for and obviously this objective thing here where we get a mega pack at the end I'm going to quickly look for the new season as well hopefully there'll be some decent players in there obviously the packs always seem to be the same it's pretty much copy and paste each season really which is gets a bit boring but that's just EA all over really so the first player we've got uh, Martins 3 star 4 star very good pace very good agility balance decent uh, physical stats very a bit low on the composure um, it's not a bad card for mid for mid uh, mid season decent stats are well like quite well rounded just missing the four star skills and a bit more composure really um, what, I'm not too sure what league that is actually in to be honest That's if I had to guess probably Chinese league um, next we've got Gomez I think that's the guy I'll know from United in the Portuguese league uh, very good agility and balance again alright stamina um, the rest of his dribbling is pretty well rounded very well rounded passing Average shooting, and then he's got a bit of a weird pace split, but not bad there. Four star, four star as well. Not again, not a bad card for the mid season. And then for the last player, we got someone called Fosu, who's in the championship, so another championship player. Four star, three star, high, low. Very good pace, good shooting, very good dribbling stats again. Slightly low on composure again. Decent stamina, sorry, very good stamina. I was gonna say, decent physicals. Strange card, really. That probably may edge being the best one. Him or Gomez, I'd reckon. I'd probably reckon would have been the best, but who knows? So that's level 15. Obviously, all the rest will be copy and paste, like I say. Now level 30 is an Eric Lamella card. 4 star 3 star which is a bit underwhelming for the last card which we're going to be getting like 40 odd days not bad pace av well rounded shooting pretty average though very good passing stats pretty good dribbling stats and very well rounded physicals um, I think as a cam that would be a decent card shame he's not got 4 star 4 star but as a cam I reckon it would be alright next we've got Brian, 4 star, 4 star, much better, decent pace, probably just up his acceleration a bit, very good shooting stats, decent passing stats for striker as well, dribbling stats other than agility and balance are pretty good as well, but yeah that's another card that I'm probably not that interested in, so hopefully the last player here is actually uh, very good, and it's Kandreva, 88, 4, 4, medium, medium. 80 finishing. I don't know. I'm not a fan of them cards to be honest. Lamella, I'll probably end up taking because he's dribbling like well, he's very like well-rounded. But honestly, I think last season's level 30 was better, so I feel like that's very underwhelming. Unfortunately, uh, we'll have a quick look at the SBCs. See what they've given us in here. Uh, a Podolski card, pretty decent pace, very good shooting stats, quite a few 99s in there, very well rounded passing, 
very well rounded dribbling very well rounded card five star uh, skills which is very nice three star weak foot uh, we'll see what this costs an 82 of an inform and an 85 um, not too sure how much that's going to come in at but I probably won't touch it myself but I feel like for a few people you might be quite happy with that SBC I'm not too sure what league he is actually in to be fair though so we'll see group 1 daily challenge 1 so that's a, for a two rare gold player pack. I'm not too sure what that's about. Maybe to do with that objective that got brought out. A pinata. So a rare election player pack. We'll get that done at some point. A kit. Which looks pretty nice actually. I might have to get that done. Not completed a kit this year. But might have to do that one. And the ballon. Um, doesn't look too bad either. Which is a set. Um... Let's have a look at the new releases to see if... So there's a 92 Tiago. If you've seen the item release. Here we go. So you got a 92 Tiago, 91 Vardy, 91 Sane is a Cam, right mid Perisic, a Cam Lucas Moura, a Furlan Mendy, which is disgusting, Inaki Williams, Mario Homoso, that Sambia card. Moses Simon Huang Yi Chan. So I think the leak was correct. If I am sure. Um I like the skill move and weak foot upgrades on them. Perisic five star five stars really nice. Phil Mendy five five as well is sick. There's quite a few decent cards there. Um I'd have to have a look in more depth, you know, on foot bin to to see the whole stats but let's see if we can pack one maybe we'll get straight into these packs now we've had a look at what they've given us and it looks decent so far obviously we've got that free ultimate pack as well which can't complain about obviously not everyone's going to get a free ultimate pack but I've just bashed the game that much and I've been given the best reward which Pretty good, obviously. Another pack that I'm able to open to show everyone, and obviously give, my more, give myself more chance of packing a foot birthday card. Uh, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I'd have to have a look at on foot bin at the stats, but I'm not too sure if I was to pack one, which one I'd want. That Sane looked pretty good from the base stats, obviously being. Four star, five star, whatever he is now. That could be a really good card as a cam. Has some pretty strong links as well, being from Bayern Germ as well with the team he has they got this year. So yeah, um, there could be a, quite a few decent players that I could maybe pick up. Uh, I will hopefully get a review up as well at some point this weekend to do with some of these foot birthday cards uh, whether that's packing one and then trying them out in my team for weekend league or whether that's buying them on my other account and just giving you guys a review on the players so that could happen Sane is coming in at 1.4 mil at the moment but it's pointless looking at his price because obviously it, they've only just come out 9 minutes ago so it's not a problem is price being that high at the moment just because it'll most likely come tumbling down anyway Sane he looks very well rounded very fast uh, got pretty good dribbling stats I think I don't know he, he does look good but at the same time there's some improvements needed in some areas. I've got a walkout out of an 83 plus, an inform walkout, which is nice for SBCs. That Boonu, I think, the guy who scored the keeper for Sevilla in the last minute. Um, good for SBCs, like I say, so I'll take that. Um, got quite a few good packs left, to be fair. Let's get rid of the smaller ones first. So, Sani, like I say, looks decent, but I feel like there's a lot of improvement needed around the card which isn't a major issue I feel like you can 
probably sort that out with a decent chem style that fits him. Whilst I open these, I will um, try and look at a few more. I was intrigued by that Tiago because obviously with a pace upgrade and stuff like that, I feel like it could be a, a very good card. Yeah. Tiago's got a very weird pace split. He's got 95 acceleration, but only 71 sprint speed, which is strange. Um, but passing stats, obviously, insane. Physical, he's got very good jumping and stamina. Uh, decent strength as well, to be fair. Uh, defending is pretty well-rounded. Dribbling stats, insane. And shooting, very well-rounded as well for a centre mid. And being 5-star, five 5-star... Five I think that card could be like if you play say with centre mids 4 one 2 2 something like that I think that card could be very good if you can pick him up or pack him and use him I think he, with the links he has that would be a very nice card to get your hands on we'll have a quick look at Furlan Mendy we all know how disgusting that card's going to be coming in at 1.3 mil at the moment obviously very fast and his other stats are just... It, it doesn't matter what his other stats are. Because his normal is so OP. And this time around he's 5 star, 5 star. So... You know you know he's going to be disgusting. But, yeah. It's fairly amended. There's not much to say, really. Um, let's look at some of his. Sambia, as well. Could be a pretty nice card. I enjoyed using his... Silver Stars in... I think I used him in Foot Champs, actually, one weekend. So he's got pretty decent pace. Um, very good passing. He's 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot as well. I think you probably need an anchor, I think, on him. And he probably would be, like, next level, really. He's got good links. French League, obviously, being French as well, is nice. Uh, let's have a look uh, with an anchor on him. Yeah, with an anchor, that, I reckon, is probably his best chem style. Puts his physical stats to pretty much... Like, all 90s plus, except his aggression. Defending stats go up very high. Uh, dribbling's decent for fullback, very fast. Very good passing as well. So, Sambia looks decent, and at the moment it's coming at 211k on the PlayStation, 160 on Xbox. So I'm sure that card will end up coming down a bit, just because probably you know being uh, for Montpellier, not the best team links, so maybe that will bring his price down. Um, what else have we got? The only thing I'd say about these cards they've given us at the moment is that I feel like they've reused quite a few players, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like a lot of them have already got like decent cards. So, for example, Vardy, he's already got like one or two informs and that record breaker, which is like 90 rated anyway, and now he's got a 91 foot birthday. So, not too sure like that. But they've given it to quite a few ones to watch players, which I feel like is decent because obviously you know they're probably not going to get upgraded enough to match their card they've got now. So, I think that could actually be pretty good. They've given it like Kwangi Chan, uh, Thiago Sane were all, what do you call it? They were they all ones to watches. So. I feel like that's probably the reason behind that. They know they're not going to get upgraded that much in the one swatches. Maybe one or two informs down the line, but at this moment in time, they, they just boosted them cards, which you can see why they've done. We've got a walkout here. It's going to be Kane, because obviously Vardy's in foot birthday. Definitely take it. Good for SBCs down the line. We'll keep hold of him. Not interested. Uh, he's untradeable anyway. But yeah, if, if he wasn't, I probably would have kept hold of him anyway. Send him up there. 
We've got three rare megas, an ultimate pack, and then a 1083 pack, which I saved from yesterday. Obviously, it was only out for 24 hours, so I had to get it done. I have also done it on my other account as well. So I will be switching over to that to get the pack done, obviously, there. Hopefully, uh, we'll get something out of it because it wasn't cheap, but... I did it for the content. A lot of people might not have been able to afford it. I just felt like it was worth doing just because I could and like I say gives me another pack to open and another chance at getting a full birthday card so that's the reason I've done it. I wouldn't blame if you didn't but yeah. Um, I'll have a quick look at this Huntelar card. We have got another walkout. Going to be another gold. French. Mbappe. Who's that Griezmann, I think? Yeah, Griezmann. Um say that. I'm not sure if it'd be tradable or not. It is, we'll keep all of them anyway. Gold pack. Say that. Discard all that. So Huntel, let's have a look at him. Right. He's got another strange pay split, eighty two to ninety one. His shooting stats are sick. 98 finishing, 99 positioning, passing, very average, very like low 80s, high 70s sort of sort of stats. Dribbling, 82 agility, 84 balance isn't the worst. 92 reactions, in eye ball control, 86 dribbling, 97 composure, six. So in front of goal, he's going to be deadly. But yeah, I'm not too sure about this card to be honest. Um, I'm going to open the ultimate pack first, then the 1083 plus. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this Huntelar card. He's got three star skills as well, which is a bit of a shame. I, it could still be a board out of this, just because it's Sudamericana. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that Huntelar card, if I'm honest. Someone might disagree, but won't, I won't be using him. Uh, it's another informed pack, it's an 85 84. Can't complain with that. Nine gold, and I think we already packed him and tradable. Oh, we packed him tradable, that's nice. Got quite a few players there. But yeah, that Hunter, I'm not, not seeing the appeal. I may, and probably will complete it, just because I'll end up putting him into SBC. It's an 90 rated card for an SBC down the line. But yeah, I'm not, not the biggest fan with that. So yeah, I'll just be straight for an SBC. And then for the last pack on this account for now um, is the 1083s. Hopefully I can get something good. Uh, it's not even a walkout. That is... It's an 85 Galaxa. That is tragic. Two 85s, one 84 and then seven 83s. I mean, yeah, it could have gone worse. Could have got 1083s, to be fair. But that is not good, and that's not what you ought to see at all, to be honest. So, them packs for me were decent overall. You know, some decent players sat the club back up. But in terms of foot birthdays, obviously, we didn't pack one, so that's a shame, but you can't expect to pack one all the time. So, I will switch to my other account, and we'll see what we can pack on there. So I'm on my other account now and obviously I've played on this account a bit so I've managed to get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack for the tier 1 reward. Um, so we have that pack to open and then 1083 plus where hopefully I can pack a foot birthday because this is the account where I do my reviews. I actually haven't done one yet but this is where I will be doing them in, in the future and hopefully a few this weekend with the new foot birthday promo. Um, discard that as well so yeah hopefully this 1083 plus pack is much better than the last one at least a walkout come on it's a walkout it's not going to be a football it's an inform not the best of team of weeks it's going to be that Boonu again not bad for SBCs like I, say, like, like I said before but Ooh, that's much better on this account. Um, 
Nat Accelerating Iron Ramos, that is so much better on this account. Um, which, to be honest, it's actually a bit annoying it's on this account because, like I say, all this account's for is reviews. So I would have much preferred that on my other account for SBCs, but I can't complain. I'll use it for this account. If an SBC comes out that I want to do a, a review on, then I've got some decent fodder to put in. But that is much better than my last one on my other account. But that is going to be the last pack. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe. Until the next one, I'm out.